Salute to Oops guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the first video of 2021 and I am excited for the year and to see what it has to offer for sure. I hope everyone enjoyed their New Year's and hopefully uh, 2021 brings us a lot more positivity uh, than what 2020 did for sure. If you're new to the channel guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, that has supported this channel since day one or the new subscribers as well uh i started this channel back in april with really not too many high hopes just kind of having fun and here we are 137 subscribers later and it's kind of blossomed into something really cool so i really appreciate everyone for the support and i will continue to provide some quality content for you guys so uh we got Kobe White joining us today, as you can see in the background here. Those are some cards that I acquired back in 2020. And before we get into today's uh, rip, which is going to be some NBA hoops, I'm just going to go over some of the bigger hits that I had in 2020. I wanted to share with you guys. I did get into the hobby uh, during the quarantine uh, around March-ish, I want to say, uh, but um have had some luck with some hits so i just wanted to share some of them with you guys uh i did sell some off i remember i hit a, a genesis lebron uh back in the day uh, that i did sell off so i don't have that obviously to share with you guys uh, but that was probably one of my definitely one of my bigger hits for sure but i do have some cards that i've still hoarded uh, along with many others so i'm going to share those with you guys and then we're going to get into that rip so enjoy the video for sure now, this first card, guys, has absolutely really no value whatsoever. It's just a Damian Jones auto. Uh, but this is actually the first ever auto that I pulled uh, in the hobby. So it's nothing huge or anything like that. It's just got some sentimental value out of the Panini threads. So I've kept that around literally just for sentimental value uh, because it was my first ever auto. Now, these two guys right here. The pink uh, jaw, pink Zion combo. Uh, if you guys were around when I opened this Optic Mega Box, these two actually came in the exact same box, uh, which was an insane pull for sure. And yeah, definitely beautiful cards. And I, like I said, I, I really to this day can't believe that they both came in the same box. Uh, but I think everyone loves them. Some pink Optic, especially when you have the two top rookies in the class. In the same box, in the in the pink, so definitely dope. Next, we're gonna have this Zion uh, from the An Illusions Mega Box that I pulled a couple months ago. Uh, I know Zion, or uh, excuse me, Illusions isn't the best product, not the best high end product or anything like that. But this is my first numbered Zion that I ever pulled, and that's out of one twenty five. So definitely some sentimental value there, and it's it's Zion, so I think we all love him. Uh, next, uh, we're going to go back to kind of the beginning of the hobby when I was just opening up some NBA hoops. And I was able to pull two of these purple Zions while uh, opening some NBA hoops. I'm uncertain of the, va of the value of these things, um, but it's always nice when you get the uh, purple parallels, especially of a top rookie like Zion, obviously. And not to mention, uh, I got the normal, regular... Uh, rookie and then the uh, tribute as well of him which was pretty sweet next we're going to move on to some more nba hoops uh, these were three cards uh, that i was also able to pull on camera uh, from the australian nba hoops version of nba hoops uh, with the green parallels and was not able to hit a zion out of them but i did hit the green john morant uh, out of the australian version as well as RJ Barrett and the Kobe White tribute card out of there. So definitely all top rookies for sure. Would I went Zion hunting, but I will definitely take all three of these guys when it comes to uh, a unique product like the Australian NBA hoops. Next we have the blue Kobe White that I also pulled out of NBA hoops. Uh, this is the American version. I'm also uncertain of the value of this one right here. Uh, it's just this tribute card, but uh, I haven't seen any uh, too many blue parallels of it, so it was definitely a memorable hit as well. 
Uh, this R.J. Barrett on card auto. I, I myself did not pull this card, guys. Um, but as you can see, it's numbered to 125. I actually got this in a break. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, I love the fact that it's an on-card auto. Uh, the Court King is definitely a higher-end higher, higher end brand, for sure. And R.J. Barrett does have a lot of potential, even though he is stuck in New York, unfortunately. Next is this uh, Mosaic uh, Orange. Uh, I forget what the actual name is. I think it's Orange... Um, uh, the name escapes me anyway. Uh, orange mosaic of uh, Anthony Davis, number to 25 that I pulled. I'm not a huge Anthony Davis fan, but this is one of the one of the lower numbered cards that I've ever pulled, especially of a star player like Anthony Davis. So definitely a cool card right there. And then one of my probably up there with the top five hits is going to be uh, this silver optic Zion that I pulled. I believe I also pulled this on camera. Uh, which is amazing, but uh, the video's around somewhere on my channel. Uh, but Optic did treat me well with the op with the Zions and the Jaws, at least in the beginning. Towards the end, I was not getting any hits out of Optic, but uh, to hit the main card that everyone was chasing out of Optic uh, is definitely a nice feeling for sure. So that that's kind of it for that, guys. Uh, like I said, those are just some of the top hits. I do have a bunch of other cards around, but uh those are just the ones that i felt like definitely sharing with you guys so now let's get into the rip of some nba hoops i just have the one blaster here for us so hopefully we can start off 2021 right with a nice hit out of some nba hoops definitely can't wait for the new version of nba hoops to come which should be dropping i believe in a couple weeks if i'm not mistaken unless it gets Push back, which is, which it would not be surprising when it comes to to something like that. So, let's get into it here, guys. Danilo Gallinari, we got Danny Green, Robert Covington, and then Chris Middleton, Green. All right, Colin Sexton, Markeith Morris. There's a mojo back here. Hopefully, it's someone good, guys. Denzel Valentine. No, thank you. I'm a Bulls fan, and not even I am a Denzel Valentine supporter. Bam Adebayo, Thomas Bryant, Isaiah Roby had a good, uh, nice little game the other day, and the Jason Tatum, NBA City. All right, we got Blake Griffin, Drew Holiday, Pat Beverly, and Evan Fournier, Jesus, silver. What a waste of a silver card, unfortunately. Kyrie. We got Lonnie Walker. Casey Okpala. And Jesus, Aaron Holiday. This box is not, not treating us right at all, unfortunately, guys. Hopefully it gets a little bit better. Matthew Delavadova. Little Paul George action, Jeremy Lamb, and Zach Collins mojo. Yeesh. Avery Bradley, Ricky Rubio, AD, and the Kevin Durant Zero Gravity. Malik Beasley, Tobias Harris. Nasir Little and Allen Iverson. Oh my god. Okay. Well guys, hopefully <laughs> hopefully that box is not um not a any foresight into what 2021 has to offer. Uh as far as hits go, that was a pretty shallow box. I mean Nasir Little Casey Okpala, little Jason Tatum insert, and then Isaiah Roby. So, yeesh. A little disappointing on that one, guys. Uh, but that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little show and tell and everything. Uh, the NBA Hoops box was a little bit of a bust right there. Uh, but what do you do? That's kind of the gamble of the game. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, I'm going to actually be going to a card show tomorrow, so there's another video, a card show video coming up. Hopefully I can find some cool stuff uh, at the card show tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for su the support. Make sure to follow, and hopefully 2021, guys, treats us way better than 2020 did. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.